traffic shaping could theoretically make me 25% more against more than half of my audience or more than half of my inventory. So the resulting um, benefit to us overall in total revenue dollars is going to be greater from that traffic shaping. Seriously? WTF is traffic shaping. According to Digiday.com, traffic shaping can be boiled down to publishers being more thoughtful about what ad requests are sent to intermediaries like SSPs. Okay, but how does that work? I might be missing something. Could you try that again? How does traffic shaping work? Okay, so remember when we were talking before about supply path optimization? Uh, yeah, it's advertisers trying to figure out the best programmatic path to purchasing publishers at inventory, which is like me trying to figure out which food delivery apps to use to order from a restaurant. Yep. So traffic shaping is like the inverse of that. Meaning a restaurant deciding which food delivery apps to use. Or a publisher determining which ad slots to sell in the programmatic market and which ad tech firms to sell them through. Okay, so publisher is the restaurant, advertiser, customer, ad tech firms are the food delivery apps. Exactly, same as before. So you know how restaurants can toggle on or off food delivery orders because maybe they got an in-person rush or a bunch of their cooks called out. Yeah, but I thought if publishers get a rush of traffic to their sites, they're more likely to turn on programmatic ad sales to fill all the available ad slots. Sure. But if the publisher opens up too many ad slots for programmatic sale, that can lead to slower page load speeds or lead to more low quality ads popping up on the page. Either way, it's like the publisher equivalent of a restaurant getting food delivery orders wrong or sending out cold fries. Oh, nasty. Is there any food that degrades faster than french fries? No, they're the worst. The worst. But, okay, then why is it called traffic shipping and not something like, I don't know, programmatic pausing? Huh, that has a nice ring to it. I know, right? I mean, not that traffic shaping is so bad. No, not at all. I mean, beats demand path optimization. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait a minute. We can get back to that. The thing I'm trying to say is traffic shaping is more than just publishers turning programmatic sales on or off. They can also cherry pick which ad tech platforms to sell through, which is like a restaurant choosing which food delivery apps to enable at any given time. Why would they do that? Well, maybe some don't have the capacity to deliver at the moment. To deliver food or advertisers? Either. Both. I mean, or maybe they're only funneling customers with tiny order sizes or advertisers with lowball bids. Can't the restaurant just put a <laughs> minimum order size or the publisher a minimum price floor? Yep, and another option would be to not make low price items available for order. For publishers, this is like filtering out ad requests that tend to get lowball bids, such as ad impressions where the publisher doesn't have much information on the person on the other end of that impression. Why would they do that? I mean, money's money, isn't it? Well, think about if a restaurant is only delivering tiny order sizes. Drivers aren't going to want to take those orders because they're probably going to lead to tiny tips. Yeah, that's a fair point. It probably wouldn't even cover the gas to make the delivery, right? Exactly. So if a publisher is only sending out low-value inventory, ad tech firms are going to deprioritize them. Whereas if a publisher sends out a high percentage of high-value inventory, then the ad tech firms are probably going to send more advertisers their way. Ding, ding. Plus, a publisher cutting back on the number of requests being sent out into the programmatic market can help that publisher cut back on its carbon emissions, which can curry favor with advertisers who care about sustainability. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh. Okay. Uh, last question. Why is it called traffic shaping and not demand path optimization? Well, it basically is demand path optimization, but you know the ad industry can never have too much jargon. What the f***? <laughs>